Muslim Media House puts a spotlight on amazing talented Africans around the globe. On this week's episode of Unsigned Hype, we speak to a young Gambian woman whose short creative videos has gained a lot of attention on social media. Muslim Media House introduces Tida Joe. All these funny things I used to do, like the crazy things, started back in school. I was doing drama, so I used to be like taking the funny part. There was a time I was doing this video and I put some water on the plate and I carried it. I was like, pure water, pure water. And after that drama, after that day, everyone was calling me pure water. On that day when we are shooting, I think we have like parents around. So when I go out, like I would see some students, like their parents were like, pure water. I said, oh, they said, yeah, I was in the school when, I, when you were doing that drama. And it was funny when you were carrying the water and saying pure water, pure water, with your clothes, with your wrapper. I was acting like a poor girl, but all the things, what I do there, like the selling and so on, it was so funny, like when people were watching, it was so funny. I was not having anything to record the things I was doing back then. There was nothing covered there. Everything was done, people watched, laugh, and then we go. From there, when I go home also, there is nothing like, uh, let me do this video and post myself. And that's my nature, I have been like this since when I was young. Always making people laugh in my auntie's house, the children and everyone. So it's just something that is in me. Tita is just a simple girl. I like doing crazy things. Even when I'm alone in my house, I like to like make myself happy alone. I can be here dancing, playing music, saying, oh, I'm in a concert, you know, dancing alone in my room. I am that happy Tita. I, I cannot get angry for too long. I always make to do funny things in the house. Like when they are busy working or something, I'll go and wear funny clothes and start dancing around. Things change, though I'm married and I'm more responsible now, but still, I rule with kids. I rule with anyone. When I find you peaceful, then I will rule with you. I cannot go with people who always bring problems and stuff, because it disturbs me. No, I don't, yeah, I don't like problems. I always want to be in crazy things, doing crazy things, making people laugh. When people see me outside, they they don't want to call me because when I when I walk, I frown my face. But when you call me, I'm open. Uh -huh. So when people see me, I say, oh, I see you outside, but I could not call you. I said, what, Hana Damanyao? That's why you don't want to call me. Like, that means I'm ugly. That's why you don't want to call me and they laugh over it. Yeah. I am funny on social media and I'm funny also in real life when I'm with friends. I did some videos with Bright Stars, that was a Nawek video, and it was nice. I wear some funny clothes, the red jacket and my hat. I get a plastic bag, the ones they sell in the shop for $5. I bought this, and I tied this on my neck and make it a belt also. And everyone was liking the video, everyone liked my outfit, and the way I was dancing. I put all my energy in that shooting. I did everything to make sure that it, 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 it will be perfect, it will look good out there. People would love it and people would laugh. Even though people enjoy the video, but they were also like enjoying me in there. They were looking at me, they were like, oh, that's Tita, who is she? And people start sharing it and people start following me more on TikTok and Instagram because they have started seeing like the funny Tita. Before I was doing TikTok video, but I was not having anything like ring light or to put my phone to shoot. My husband was having this iron with pillow. I used to take that and put a rubber band around my phone and hold it to the iron. Then I would put it, lay it anywhere around the wall or so on. Then I would do my videos. That's how I used to shoot my videos before. But later on, a friend sent me um, some money and then that's the time I bought ring light. Then I bought the ring light and start shooting my videos. And since I get the ring light, I, I'm able to do more videos, like anywhere around. I can come even in, like in the middle here. I don't need to put that thing on the wall or anywhere. Yeah. I will just put it anywhere I want and do my videos. Mm -hmm. And because of the ring light, I was able to do more videos and in a very creative way. There are a lot of people doing TikTok, like a lot, but it seems like Mine is more natural there because the things I do, it's based on my daily life, the things I do with my family. When I have an idea about 
things Gambian do, direction and stuff, I just go out at the gate or maybe inside and shoot the video. So people find it natural and they find it very interesting and they laugh over it. What a very humble beginning from a creative mind. We will be going on a short break and when we come back, Tina will tell us more about her creative videos and much more. Welcome back. Before the break, Tida Job, one of Gambia's amazing rising comedian, was telling us about her story and very hilarious creative videos. Let's meet her again as she tells us more about her mind-blowing creations. I started doing TikTok video in May during Ramadan. Not the first time starting, but I was doing TikTok way before. But I can say May is the start of everything. That's the time people start recognizing me on TikTok. That's the time people start following me because I did this challenge, Dangal, and it went viral. You know, not only in Gambia, but it went outside, even Senegal. People were watching the video because it's funny how I edit the video with the fart. People start following me, people start, you know, liking me because of that video. So I start doing more videos. Gambian Apprentice. This video went viral. It has like over 100,000 views on TikTok. When I do things, sometimes I don't find it funny because it's me doing it. But when I put it out there, people find it so funny that I'm like, no, I don't think it's funny. Then I have to watch the video again yeah. to see what is the funny part there. So I said, ah, oh, let me just put my fun, funny things on Instagram too. Then the moment I start putting it there, like from 5,000 followers to 14K followers, People start following me every day, every day. So, Wasana Gambia also posted my picture, you know. So, they also get me more followers because the moment they posted, a lot of people were following me. Here also, I used to have some of my friends coming here to do video with me. So, like to feature them. They also want me to feature them, to do videos with them, that people will also recognize them out there. So, for now, that's my target to get my friends coming here to feature them in some videos, maybe some um, acting, maybe just 30 minutes, you know, acting. Then we will see what we're gonna do, and then we we'll put it there in the internet, maybe on YouTube. But my friend need me to do advert for them. I will do it for them. Some of them do pay. Some of them do give me the product to do it. Even though I'm part of some drama, some movies, and so on, some series, but um, the people are not paying because. Even for them, they don't have support. So they just, they just want to do their thing and put it out there that people can see their career, people can, can see their talent also. Internet is very expensive in the Gambia. So it's not easy like to pay all the time, um, 1,900 every month for an internet. And right now, even the service is changed, you have to pay, I don't know, it's not like the service is not un unlimited anymore. Mm -hmm. I always want to make sure that when I put my videos on the internet, I have a uh, good quality, mm -hmm. that people will not struggle to hear what I'm saying, yeah. you know, and also I'll make sure that the color and everything is there. Mm -hmm. So for now, I'm just there to make people happy and to help others around me. What a great achievement within a short period of time. Join us on our social media platforms as we discuss more on this episode and many more at Muso Media House. I am your host, Saida Batuli. <laughs>